Casey. We're going to bath. Are you excited? Oh yeah, wait, you can't come. <laughs> Like I said yesterday, don't expect me to continually vlog to you while I'm in bath. I'm going to try and get you clips, but people are upstairs getting ready and no one knows I do this daily vlog. So, yes. Shh. Side note though, why is it in the morning that everything else apart from your bed is ice cold? You just want to lie there in bed where it's nice and warm. Nice, warm and cosy, but no, everywhere else is ice cold and that's where you need to be. Come on, Dad, Dad's just going to get petrol. Dad's panicking because we're going to, it's going to, we're pushing the time and everything. Um, because of the traffic, but Dad knows what he's doing. As long as he doesn't stress, um, we'll be fine. We will be. Oops, what was I saying about getting your clips? I'm now in the bathroom, which is a bit awkward. Um, um, it's not been the kind of day where I can get you clips. I'll tell you more about it later. Um, I'll show you some footage of what everything looks like from the outside. It's ever so pretty here. Bath is a beautiful place. It's ever so pretty. Um, I'll show you some from casually from the car, unless I edit it out because it looks stupid or it just doesn't make sense, or it's just boring, or I don't know. Well, I don't know. But we are heading off home now, and, um, yeah. Awkwardly showing you inside the, the male's bathroom now. I just realised that. Yeah, so we're just going to start heading off now, and... This is a four hour long coach journey, and dr drive journey, and that guy thought I was ever so strange. And we're back. Well, we've been back for a long time, but I've been recuperating energy. It is a four hour drive down to Bath from here. Eight hours travelling time all in total. Eight hours of being sat in the back of a car because I didn't drive because if I drove on the motorway then I'd panic at the first time someone in front of me breaks. I'll press my brake and someone will plow to the back of me and then I'll die. So eight hours just sat in the back of a car that I don't fit into because my legs are too long and I couldn't work in because I my laptop was like this and I couldn't do my computing work. So I was just sat there, either on the way there, reading and rereading my personal statement for the interview, and on the way back, reading and then just playing games on my iPod, because it got too dark to read. But we were literally out from 7 this morning, we didn't go back till 7 at night, so 12 hours we was out of the house for, which was insane. But Bath University, eh? It, what we went down for it was basically like an open day, you come and have a look around, and then it's like a quick, informal, like 10 minute interview thing. and. I, you kind of get to, you, we first notice when you c come up to um, Bath, is you realise that it's just in a huge bowl. You're just driving down to it after the flipping four hours drive, and then you just get to this huge drop. It's just like a bang. There you go, downhill. And then there's Bath at the bottom of this huge, like, abyss. And there's blah blah, then the university is up there, blah 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 blah. Well, like, why is it in a, it's just casually in a bowl, it must be like the lowest point on earth. There's above sea level, oh, it's, it's insane. So um, that's what we noticed. But the town, the town is beautiful. You just go and drive into them like, oh, I could, I could film and know. Uh, oh, it's beautiful here. The university is extremely modern and all swanky, and especially the computer science bits, it's all swanky and everything. So I, I kind of came up, and then we, they talked to us about like the courses and what all the courses were and everything. And at the end of the day, I kind of quite prefer. Not quite prefer. I quite like Bath. I kind of went there and I thought, well, this is too long a journey. I'm already, it's too far away from home and everything else to, for it to beat Warwick. Because Warwick is amazing university. They're about equal universities, except Warwick's closer. But then when I get there, it kind of grows on you and the accommodation is slightly better. I'm not setting my heart on it. I haven't, I don't think I've technically decided between Warwick and Bath because they're both extremely good universities, but for different reasons. Um, Warwick is obviously better in the league tables, but I think Bath is a better, it's a better course and the local area is better. So it just depends. I've got to do some research around the things just to decide which one is my favorite. But I think I'm going to put it out of my mind until the interview result comes through. I think it did one in my interview, I think. Um, I, the, the guy was laughing at my jokes and I don't think I made an absolute balls up apart from the fact when I kind of dissed English language in English literature and then he told me that he did English literature in English language I was like, oh, bloody hell, bloody hell oh, that bullet just seared straight through my foot but no, it was, it, was a, it was meant as a joke I think he took it as a joke as well, he thought it was funny and he understood my reasoning behind it and the fact that why would you do English and look back and read books that everyone else has already read when you can do something like computer science and that opens doors into whole rooms that no one's explored before. 
So I do, I do really like Bath. I think it's it's definitely up there with between Warwick and Bath now. I'm now fighting for first place. I've just got to do some more research behind the two and then obviously get my results from the interview. See if I've even got a place there. Um, but it would be nice to get the place. Um, we then drove back and then I came back and did computing. I've been doing computing since I got in. I've done 58 pages and I've finished 58 pages of function labelling and describing what each one of them does. So that's going to get printed tomorrow. The amount of paper I've printed for this course is absolutely insane now. Um, I have an entire ring binder. I have an entire first ring binder of... Um, this was before I was even allowed to start programming. This is just set knob and everything. And it's about all of this and then one document that dominates the entire form. Which is... Oh, do, 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 this document here which spans from this one, algorithms document, which starts at page one and page 654 there, and that is literally right up until the end of it. Actually, it is. This is the only document in here. It's just blah, blah. That was before I was even allowed to start testing and start making the program. And that's my, that's one ring binder I have. Just as a comparison, the reason I don't use it anymore is because it is literally the width of a Pringles tub. Everyone knows how big a Pringles tub is. That's a good example of size, that is. We should measure everything in Pringles tub circumferences or widths. I don't mean widths, do I? What do I mean? Radii. It's been a long day, leave me alone. But then in my second folder, which isn't full at all yet, I've only just started, started putting stuff in literally this week is all of the section C, C or D, all of the, no, it's definitely the section C stuff, which is about to come off, which includes the code and all of the testing. That was algorithm testing, just to get our ideas in and test our ideas to see if they'll work in theory. This is going to be testing to see if they work in real life. This is the one that needs to be done by Friday, and I'm assuming it's gonna get damn well close to 750 pages again. Which is going to be great. But this is the code though. You don't realise, it's all double sided by the way. You don't realise just how much code you actually have until you actually print it out and see it. Because when you're just scrolling through it all, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of code because you can just scroll from one end to the other as fast as you want and just control F to find different places that you need to do stuff in. And it's brilliant, look. I love having like the paper form. I loved this when it was printed out. That's 161 pages long, and that took me three attempts to print out because the printer kept chewing them up halfway through and then ruining the printing. Um, so that took me lo loads of loads of takes to print out. And we've got printing credits at school. We're only allowed to print uh, 350 pages. One of my documents in that one 750 pages. Uh, my code is 161. The one I've just done is 83 pages. These printing credits just just fly out the window for me. Luckily my computing teacher is allowed to give me more for my coursework, which is good because I use it to its liberties. Don't I, Sid? Give it a stretch. Oh, it's stretchy. So today has been a very tiring day. I've been doing, I went all the way to Bath, eight hours traveling time. The rest of that time was spent walking around Bath to the extent we spent 12, 12 hours a day, I suppose. 12 hours when we left, 12, uh, 12 hours later we got back. So a 12 hour long day compared to my normal school day. Obviously I didn't go to school because I was in math. Um, catch up on work and all that over the half term, which starts next week. Yes, and I need it. Because the deadline for this is on Friday, this computing thing. And I've got a lot, of, lot to do. I need to print off these 84 pages and then I need to do my testing, which I'm going to attempt to do as much as is humanly possible tomorrow. To the extent where I'm going, I was going to stay up today and just start it now. I was going to start it now and then maybe go to bed at like two, three o'clock and then do the same again tomorrow. But it's going to be a hell of a lot more efficient for me to go to bed now, rest, get all energized up, all right? And then line up, line up the energy drinks tomorrow and then pull an all-nighter and just literally don't go to sleep. Just constantly, just test, 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 test. Because the more I get done, the more I get feedback on. So it's a win-win situation. The more I get done, it's only, the me, it's only me that loses out if I don't do it, basically. Um, and I don't like losing out. Brr. So the game plan literally is tomorrow, is literally just test all day. 
but it's only tomorrow that I have to do the work. It's basically tomorrow I will work my absolute face off up until Friday and then when I print everything out that I've done, I'll either go, yay, it's done, or oh no, I didn't finish it, oh well. And then I've got a week to finish it if I can't finish by Friday. Then I've got a week to finish it because it's half term. If it isn't finished, hopefully it is finished, cross fingers. Um, and I've got a week to recuperate my batteries. Basically I spend tomorrow working my face off, Friday, after midday of Friday, just discharging my battery, just go to bed early and just catch up on that hours, that night loss of sleep. And um, then I've got the weekend and half term, which is going to be amazing because I'm going to be able to spend a hell of a lot of it with Lovely. Um, even if most days all we're doing is just doing work together, I might be doing some computing or maths, or even I'll be filming videos around her and then she can just be doing her work as well because she has a lot more work to me than me to do. We both do similar courses except my courses are like sort of like I just do like maths and physics which you only get like the odd past paper to do every now and again whereas Lovely does ICT which you have to do I don't think you have to do more than this but you have to do a lot in ICT you probably have to do about the same as someone like James who's also doing computing he's done an average size system which is actually a smaller than average size system they probably have to do about the same as that but someone like me who's done chess she doesn't quite touch close to me unlucky Lovely Sorry, but it's true. Um, so she's got a lot of work to do over half term. And we're going to have uh, Valentine's Day and um, Sunday to have fun and do whatever the hell we want because it will be my celebration of my birthday with Lovely, specifically, because last week I just did it with friends. And that's the way we roll. We always have one birthday with each other and then one with everyone else. Um, Valentine's Day to do whatever we want and obviously Sunday I've got to go down to town to buy something for Valentine's Day. I know what I want, I just need to get it. Also I've got this, this plaster here that I put on ages ago. Really hurts, it's really itchy. I just want to get rid of it. But I'm scared to get rid of it because I'm scared I might have to rip open the wound again. Or it's going to hurt when I pull it off. Because <sighs> I'm a war son of crybaby. So I'm now going to cut this video short because it's already getting long and it's going to take up my processor while I'm trying to work tomorrow. Um, I'll catch you tomorrow for tomorrow's amazingly difficult and tedious day. It's going to be very testy, very boring, very worky. It's going to be an all-nighter, hopefully. Well, hopefully it's not. Hopefully I finish before then, but strongly doubt I'll finish even considering taking in a full night's work. Um, so basically then, I've got nothing else to say to you. So for tomorrow, I'll catch you later.